Hello and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. It's going to be episode 14. Uh, this episode we're going to be kind of hanging out, uh, going over uh, Sen's Fortress in a little more detail. Uh, we're going to be picking up a few of the uh, things we left. And uh, yeah, just generally uh, trying to get this fortress all said and done with. So that is what we're doing right now. As we speak. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do here is uh, we're going to level up. I'm trying to get that health up over a thousand. And, uh, nice padded vitality there. So now, uh, Heading on down. And we are going to go uh, through the path there. And uh, hopefully not die. As usual, uh, what you want to do is range attack those. And if not, it's fine. Um, there are other ways to take care of that, such as just moving through it. So yeah. X still isn't as good as it could be, but it's doing just fine, and one of the great things about that particular axe uh, is the stun capabilities of it. <laughs> yep, so that guy just totally walked off the edge there. That's fine. But now we must cross the Great Chasm! Anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, so we're at the switch for the boulders. We're gonna... I think we're gonna try to... Do a few things we haven't done yet. Uh, down here. So... Push the lever. Heading on up. Uh, we're going to go through here. And we are going to unlock. The next NPC! Using the cage key, of course. I am, I am a bright mold, and if this place isn't. Now, this is what I was referring to when I said that we could open this with the cage key. There it is. So, if you let this guy out now, he will later on show up in another area, and then. And then after that, if you rescue him from there, then oh, heaven, heaven, he will become an NPC. Might, but I must log a few things first, and I owe you speak with me there. So, if you're running a magic build or a sorcery build or something like that, that's the right, that's the one for you. So we're going to use the cage key to get in here too. Um, going to get this item. I think I was just overly cautious there. But it is a soul of a hero, so... Uh, we want to take those. Those are pretty valuable soul items. Taking a look down, realizing uh, not a good idea to proceed. So. Heading on up again. And heading on out. 
since we're doing Sin's Fortress pretty much in reverse, um, see what I mean about those uh, darts? Last episode I said they could, uh, you could use them to kill those guys. Well, there you go. Playing it safe here. Uh, we're gonna go across, but we are definitely playing it safe. We're gonna ignore that guy for now. Go back, actually, and uh, we're gonna attempt some backstabs. There we go. It's a weird uh, hitbox for those backstabs. But anyway, two strong hits uh, with the two handed, uh, and then a backstab will make good uh, quick work of them. Nice and easy. Going back to the bonfire, but first, we must take care of Snake Man number two. Yeah, for whatever reason, that didn't work. But there we go. They're pretty good souls, too, so, I mean, better to not pass them up. But we have now made it back to the bonfire! Uh, so now we're gonna go talk to the blacksmith, I think. Well, hello again, used needle. Buying the crest of Artorius, uh, and then we're gonna probably purchase these last two things here. Uh, Crest of Artorias we're going to use okay, in uh, another area to uh, progress a little bit further. Uh, but for now, uh, we're going to pop these soul items. Reinforce the old weapon if we can do it. Bring it up to, uh. I guess we can. Yeah, we're gonna need the large ember, so, uh, that's gonna be probably one of the next things we go for. <clears throat> I'll be seeing you then. I actually forget where we find that, but, uh, I will know by the time I record the next episode. We're going to use uh, these souls that we got to level up. Restoring humanity, uh, just to make sure that we get... Uh, some good drops from enemies and stuff like that. That's how this game works. Uh, the more humanity uh, that you have uh, piled up, see that number three up there on the top left there. Well, that's your humanity count. And uh, if you are a human while you have humanity, it gives you even more luck. So.
Okay, so, uh... Now we're gonna go back into Sense Fortress. And, uh, finish this all up. So, uh... Kill a snake guy. Pull snake number two out. He's in kind of a bad spot now. I gotta kind of reposition. And we get the backstab. So now we're going to proceed back into Sen's Fortress. And uh, probably, honestly, take the uh, shortcut if we have it. But it doesn't look like we have it, so we're going to just uh, go through. Uh, just go through the normal way. Now, I think we do have a caster over here. Uh, this caster here will um, probably pose one of the bigger threats. But all you need is a bow. Decent timing, and you'll be able to make quick work of that caster. We are trying to make our way back to uh, an Arlando. The big goal is to get there, beat the boss, and uh, we'll be able to unlock something pretty sweet uh, for the game if we do that. My biggest uh, trepidations about that though, especially uh, as early as it is for the game, is uh yeah I almost got I almost got knocked off right there so that was uh that was not the smartest thing I could have done anyway we made it out of there unscathed which is great and there's that area we've already done. We don't need to do that again. Just checking to make sure that boulder's not coming, and I'm pretty sure it's not. Pretty sure it's firing a different direction. Heading on up. Still a little dot on me right there. That's that's a bleed damage dot, and those are pretty scary. Um, but once it gets filled up, then you lose a certain amount of health. And I 
think we just learned where the boulder's going. And like I said, we're just uh, picking the pieces up uh, that we left in Sense Fortress, so this is going to be one of them. Basically, this hole fills up with uh, boulders, and then once it's filled, uh, the boulder crashes through the wall. Build and the next boulder will go through. And in here, I believe we encounter one of the first mimics that we have encountered so far. Actually, no, we don't. What was I just talking about? I have no idea. Right here is where we encounter one of our first mimics. This is it. Notice the chain. It's pointed towards the player. That's how we know it's a mimic. Now watch. Looking for a uh, Lloyd's Talisman or something like that, but I don't have one, so. Gonna buff up with a gold pine resin. And as you can see, they hit pretty hard. But once destroyed, they um, they drop their item. In this case, it was a lightning spear. So this is an interesting little platform here. If you notice on the ground of it, it's covered in blood. Well, that, there's a reason for that. It goes up a little extra higher once it gets to its uh, destination. So it moves up into a pile of spikes, so it's best to uh, get right off that platform as soon as it stops. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go after this. I'm pretty sure I don't have the key for that. Or, I, yeah, I haven't unlocked that little shortcut yet. I'm just now realizing I've probably gotten most of the important items in Sense Fortress. That covetous uh, serpent ring that I found earlier, I'm pretty sure what that does is that boosts the souls that you get from slain enemies. Or soul items. Just boosts the amount of souls you get flat level.
basically just making our way back uh, to where we killed the iron golem. <clears throat> We're gonna have to refight all of the enemies on the way back. But if you didn't like doing that, I don't know why you'd be playing Dark Souls. Anymore, so. All well, that stagger that comes off that axe is just amazing. Of that guy. Uh, so now this is the hardest part uh, over the biggest chasm in Sense Fortress. So we're taking it nice and slow. That way we just complete it and get it over with. <laughs> and the rest of this is pretty easy. I decided to hit the bonfire just in case uh, there was a death, so I would be fairly close to where I need to go. Because if I had to go through all of the whole thing of Sense Fortress again, it would probably make me go insane. Not that it's really a hard area, it's just uh, like some of the little things in there are kind of a pain in the butt. That's all. Really not that hard of an area, though. Like the platforming, the chasms, the swinging axes. There, we have now unlocked... We're gonna actually completely unlock the shortcut, that way it can be used later. I didn't use the, the cage key there, because I, I had a fear that it would... Um, it would re it would make it so the key wouldn't be able to be used on the wizard first in the cage, so that was why I did this. So in my opinion, this is the correct way to do it. This is the best way to do it. But you, however, uh, can do it however you would like to do it. That's just how I do it. 